I would have just assumed, you know, no way I would have gotten anything, so I, I wanted to thank you. No, we appreciate the growl and a problem with us yet. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a, a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. July 21st. Check it out, man. Pretty wild. Always do your best, but don't overdo when you overdo, when you overdo, you deplete the body and you go against yourself. And guess what? It would take longer to accomplish your goal. Steady Eddie, baby. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 270, Nasdaq up 103, S&P's up 31, gold contract down six dollars fifty cents, trading at eighteen oh four an ounce. We get silver up uh, twenty six cents, twenty five dollars thirty twenty three cents a ounce. Late sweet crude up three bucks, seventy dollars thirteen cents a barrel. Notes and bonds. The ten year down nineteen ticks, trading one thirty four oh two. The thirty year off one point plus fourteen ticks at one sixty three twenty one. And King Dollar, King Dollar's down two hundred and twelve ticks, trading at ninety two seven ninety one. The euro is at one seventeen. The yen is at one ten point twenty nine. The British pounds at one thirty seven to one U S dollar. Our phone number is eight seven seven. Nine two seven six six four eight. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S and P's, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, bottom line, folks, is that you get follow through in the market. We have a big down Monday. Market shakes it off once again, man. Uh, right now, so the the low of the high inside the spy, folks, is four thirty four ninety one. Well, guess what? We're at four thirty four thirty one. And that's saying to me, guess what? We're going right after it, man. And you get two full days before the end of the week to get up and into that area. And I expect that's exactly what we're going to see. NDX 100 is going to leave a little juice now. So the NDX 100, the three Qs, um, yesterday, nice return yesterday, no doubt. You know, your bottom line is that you go higher, 43 million shares. Now we're at 22. Now this is, this is a classic to flip around to, into consolidation. So what you're going to see out here is that the Qs, the NDX 100, which has been leading the market, is going to need some juice. That's the real, that's the real bottom line, folks, okay? Because the contraction out here today is big. The last highs that were out here, we got up to those highs with 39 million. You know, yesterday you had some decent juice, but today it looks like it's only going to do about 28. And as long as it holds price, though, guess what? You're going to see it up at those highs. That's the bottom line. Now, inside the NDX 100, what's moving it out here today is that you have ASML, that's up 5%. Lamb Research up 4.4. Clack is up 4. Now, that's a monster positive in the context, folks. Of, I talk about this all the time, that the chip stocks take you up, take you down. Bottom line, you can see Clack is taking us up. NDX 100, three of the top four out here today are all in the chip space. That's a big positive. And the negative out here, you get Netflix is down 3.9%. That's trading at 510. That's traded from 530 to 505 today. It came out with numbers last night. You get Illumina down 1.8. Gilead's off 1.3. We go into the Dow Industrials. We take a look at the Dow. The Dow, no doubt, printed monster numbers. Goes down in a monster way. And you got to remember something. And this is what you got to wrap your head around is you got to deal with percentages, folks, because we're dealing with much larger numbers. And if you start thinking about the aspect of the Dow going down or up, you know, six or seven hundred points, well, six or seven hundred points inside the Dow Industrials um, is not a lot and not a big percentage. Uh, we got down a price point inside the Dow Industrials of uh, thirty three thousand seven forty one. And guess what? You're at uh, thirty four thousand. We're a thousand points above that right now. This is going after its highs once again. If we take a look at inside the Dow Industrials, the strength versus the weakness out here, you have uh, Goldman. That's the second day in a row that Goldman's the leader inside the Dow Industrials. Goldman's put 58 positive points, Boeing 33, Chevron 29, taken away from it, Amgen 15, Apple 4. Gold, gold contract out here. This is going to get really wild with gold, man. 
The bottom line is that they've been selling, 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 and they're going to continue to do that, folks, until it doesn't work any longer, and then you're going to see this thing explode. Because what has happened is that the gold, gold and gold equities have really held up well here for the context of the dollar being so high. You can see we're in the exact same place we've been uh, two weeks ago inside the gold market. And if I pull up the, the dollar, you're going to see we're not. We're almost at the highs in the dollar. Bottom line, what we had out here today is that you had gold reject lower price. And you're going to see this is a clean rejection. I believe it was 274 we were going against. 250, 2, 250. So you did 250,000 contracts on Monday. You got down to a price point of 1795. We did 1794.30 today. You rejected lower price. That's what it takes for higher price to come at you, which is pretty cool. We go over to the dollar index, and you're going to see just the opposite inside the dollar index. Dollar index got to a price point of 93,191, gave it up and gave it up in spades. We're at 92,745. We got to go to the oil market and see what's happening with oil because this is like an incredible move in the context of actually what has happened inside the oil market. So they, they tell us that they're going to pump more oil out. As they tell us they're going to pump more oil out, oil, you know, we haven't seen moves like this in quite some time. Oil went from $71 down to $65 on Monday. Bottom line, you're all the way back up to 70 and you get 477,000 contracts. I believe that's going to be light contract. Well, yeah, it is. So, you know, I mean, oil looks like it's still going to run to like 73 or something. Right now, you're at 70.23. We go take a look at the note and bond market. With the note, as well as the bond market did, folks, they finished two nice ABC structures on the way up. You're coming back now. You get light volume in the pullback. The bottom line is that we'll see. Uh, how this note and bond market wants to react. Right now, the 10-year is yielding 1.28. And I don't think that note and bond market is over yet uh, going uh, topside. Dow Industrials right now up 267. You get the Nasdaq up 109. S&P's up 31. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.